What's up guys, KSWTV here, back again with a brand new video and we've got some massive topics to go over today. Lionel Messi, will he join Barcelona again? And Harry Kane might be moving to Manchester United next summer. I think we all know the situation with the Lionel Messi, I don't have to go back over it, but Lionel Messi is now a free agent after being at FC Barcelona since the age of 13 years old. One of the best players, if not the best player of all time, is officially a free agent. Now this is due to Barcelona's massive uh, over a billion dollar debt and um, now there's even some more petrol on the fire. La Liga now has made some rules that are basically saying Barcelona you're going to have to sell over 200 million dollars worth of wages before you can buy Lionel Messi otherwise you'll be infringing on our salary cap in La Liga which will just be even more a punishment and penalty for FC Barcelona. I don't think they really need that right now. Uh, considering the copious amounts of pressure they are financially and um, also the, around the dressing rooms right now all the players are seem very unsettled a lot of players are being offered uh, termination of their contracts out on loan and just being offered to other clubs they wouldn't even consider going to for free on lower wages now as I said uh, Barcelona are going to have to free up 200 million dollars worth of wages to facilitate Messi for next summer um, and this is going to have to include players to be sold like uh, Usman Dembele, uh, Antoine Griezmann, Coutinho, Titi um, and even if you sell you know a lot of those really high paying wage players um, that have joined the club that aren't cutting the mustard like Titi, like Dembele that's only going to free up about 100 million dollars worth of wages so so Barcelona are going to lose a lot of players to facilitate Messi, but in the long term, it's going to be worth it. But short term, it just looks so stupid at the moment. Now, I think it's pretty clear that FC Barcelona really need Lionel Messi more than Lionel Messi needs Barcelona at this point. I just read something here. Lionel Messi makes up 31% of FC Barcelona's revenue annually every single year. That's a third of all revenue from Barcelona and that is a massive slash to money coming into the club that they obviously need. They're in over a billion dollars worth of debt right now. But it's sort of like a catch-22. If they don't sign Messi, it's they're ruined. They lose so many shirt sales. They lose so much attendance to their games when fans uh, officially go back. And worldwide supporters of Messi will no longer support FC Barcelona buying their jerseys, sharing their posts, interacting on social media. All these things that are generating uh, not the most amount of money, but money that they actually need uh, coming to the club. And honestly, I think if Messi doesn't sign for Barcelona, I think they might have to drop down a league if they don't make these wage cuts. It's pretty clear to see now why FC Barcelona wanted to join the Super League. They would have got a lump sum of 350 million uh, euros around that just to join the Super League and they could have put that towards a brand new contract for Lionel Messi and um, put that towards um, paying off the debt that they're owing. But honestly, I feel sorry for the fans, you know, you support uh, a historic club in football, one of the most historic and successful clubs in the world, the second most successful club in Spain, I'd say in my opinion, um, and the fans of Catalonia will be devastated not just to lose Messi but to lose their club. you got plays that aren't Barcelona plays like Antoine Griezmann on £700,000 a week, which is and it goes up every year. That's the thing, it goes up every single year. These wages that even Real Madrid are handing out and Barcelona are just, uh, they're atrocious. The players that they're buying even recently are not Barcelona players and then they're offering them 400 plus thousand a week on five year contracts. But to conclude on the flip side, FC Barcelona, you do deserve this. And if you do end up getting in some serious, serious trouble where you're gonna have to maybe uh, obviously sell Messi and sell more plays just to get money to pay off all the debt you're already owing. Um, honestly, it's your fault. It's your fault you got yourself in this position. You've had constant presidents after presidents coming into jobs, leaving the jobs uh, unfinished and with so much shit that the next president has to come into and sweep up after them. And uh, I've read something as well that I think FC Barcelona's wages make up 110% of all money they spend every year. Like, you're that's like me getting a thousand dollars a week and then renting a house that costs eleven hundred dollars a week. 
I'm going to be $100 in debt every single week. It makes no fucking sense to pay the money that FC Barcelona has been paying these players. And as I said, it's come back to bite them in the ass and they do deserve this, but the fans don't deserve this and they need to start apologizing for the shit that they've left here and really get themselves into gear and try and sell some players on the ASAP and get their star player um, who is obviously bigger than the club and I think is bigger than the La Liga itself because if Messi doesn't um, sign with SC Barcelona, it ruins other clubs as well, other clubs that would get packed out crowds because Lionel Messi is playing at, uh, the, the, at, against Cadiz, against uh, Villarreal, against uh, Granada, you know, if Messi's playing at their home ground, they're going to get a packed out stadium because Lionel Messi's 30, 33, 34 years old. He's not going to be around for another three, four years, you know? So you're going to lose so much money in shirt sales and in, in especially in attendance. So uh, it's going to ruin not just for FC Barcelona, but it's going to ruin the whole of La Liga because you saw that a lot of profits went down when Cristiano Ronaldo left to go to Juventus. That was just one of the two superstars. Lionel Messi is probably regarded better in Spain and makes more profit for the La Liga in Spain than Ronaldo did. So um, it, it's just going to ruin the whole league in general and it, it's all FC Barcelona's fault. And now in breaking Premier League news, Manchester United have put forward an offer for Harry Kane. These guys are not playing around. Man City made a previous offer for Harry Kane of £100 million plus a player like uh, Gabriel Jesus or Raheem Sterling to be included in the deal, making it around a 160 to 180 valuation. Well, Manchester United are offering the same amount of money, 100 million, but with two players. And um, if I'm thinking off the top of my head who these two players would be, I, I'm guessing one of them would be Martial, um, but I'm not sure who else uh, Tottenham would want in their team. You know, if I was... If I was um, if I was Tottenham, I'd be just saying, give me 100 million and give me Mason Greenwood. Honestly, I'd be taking Mason Greenwood because um, then you can just sell Mason Greenwood straight away <laughs> and make so much money. But um, nah, in all seriousness, um, this can't happen, especially for someone like me, who's a Man City fan who wants Harry Kane at the club. I don't want this to go through. I don't want Manchester United, my biggest rivals. Actually, I, I probably consider Chelsea bigger rivals in Manchester United but you know you don't want your fellow Manchester team across the pond to be getting in my opinion the best striker in the Premier League and probably in top top three top four strikers in the world right now so um, they've already spent 73 um, million on Jaden Sancho which was a bargain so they're going to probably use that 20 25 million that they thought they would have had to put extra for Jaden Sancho and they can put that towards uh, a deal for Harry Kane they've already got a quarter of the fee they just need to put in another 75 and then just maybe add two plays that they don't want and or that they don't want to leave but do at the same time like a martial and really bring in a world-class striker who's looking to prove themselves and get trophies and secure themselves um as one of the best legacies of any uh english striker in the world you know he's about to break alan shearer's record in the next year or two uh if he joins united or city he'll probably break that in one season um but he's got no trophies to his name and manchester united is the most successful english club of all time and uh it's a no-brainer for him but it's actually a stupid move for me come to manchester city because in my opinion it'd be so much better to come to city you will be on more wages i reckon i reckon city will slap on more wages they have they have the room to do that everyone is on the same um sort of wages at city so there's no real um problem with putting harry kane on 400 450 a, a week um it'll be uh, you more guaranteed trophies at city than united in my opinion uh it'd be less less stress playing for a manchester city i'd say than a manchester united you've got a better coach in pep guardiola uh, you got Champions League football uh, guaranteed every year. You don't get that with Manchester United. Um, and honestly, you, if you're the best striker in England and the best striker in the Premier League, you want to play for the best team in the Premier League. And Manchester United hasn't been the best team in Manchester for the last decade, let alone the Premier League. So um, in my opinion, Harry Kane should definitely come to City instead of United, and I hope that goes through. But worst case, this goes through and... Uh, I guess you could look at the positives for Harry Kane going to Manchester United from my point of view. That makes the Premier League a lot more competitive in my opinion. They've just signed Jadon Sancho. 
if they sign uh, Harry Kane, that will just make the title race not just be Liverpool, Manchester City, Chelsea. It will make it a four-leg race. Um, and, you know, it will be a lot more entertaining rather than seeing Manchester City and Liverpool running away with it, even though I love Manchester City winning every year. Um, it it kind of gets a bit boring at the end of the season when, you know, you're 15, 20 points ahead of everyone. And, you know, all you got really is to focus on Champions League football and that's not for another four weeks till the knockout competition. So um, it, it would open up the Premier League immensely. It, it would trigger Man City to buy players that they're wanting, like Jack Grealish, or maybe considering buying Erling Haaland um, or even buy, just getting in a, a new striker to maybe add some more competition, you know, like an Andre Silva or something like that. Now, what do I think about this transfer going through for Manchester United? It will be the, oh, it will be better than Jaden Sancho, I think. I reckon getting Harry Kane over Jaden Sancho uh, is definitely a better transfer, even though they needed a right winger a lot more than a, a striker, but it's Harry fucking Kane, and like he's the best striker in the Prem. So um, if you put the best striker in the Prem in one of the best teams in the Prem, you're just going to improve them. And they came second last year, and the only improvement from that is first. So uh, obviously, I don't want to say this, but it's a 10 out of 10 transfer for Harry Kane to go to Manchester United. But as I said, to conclude on that, I hope that deal doesn't come through. Please, Harry Kane, do not go to Manchester United. Come to Manchester City, mate. Manchester is sky blue and will be for at least another 10, 15 years the way Manchester United are going. So if you want to win trophies and you want to win Premier League, guaranteed 100% of the time, you've got to come to City, mate. You can't go to Manchester United. You've got to come to Manchester City, please. You're going to ruin the Premier League if you go to United. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was my opinion on the Harry Kane transfer to Manchester United and what is going on with Barcelona and Lionel Messi. It is an absolute shit show. But thanks again for watching. Leave a like if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment on any future videos you want me to do or any support or anything like that. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. You're alone, sitting on a wing by the phone. No clue, only you.